welcome back to study learning in last classes uh, we have discussed about the dimensionality reduction techniques uh, such as principal component analysis and uh, fisher linear uh, discriminant analysis in this video we will see uh, the singular value decomposition so it's a very important topic in the uh, universe in your university examinations as well as in the gate examination also so now we will try to uh, discuss about uh, this singular value decomposition okay so in singular value decomposition they are going to provide you a matrix you have to decompose that particular matrix into the three terms so first we are discussing about a singular value decomposition so in this let us assume the given matrix as a so that matrix is going to be divided as u into sigma into v transpose okay v transpose so this uh, let us assume that this particular matrix having uh, 3 by 2 okay 3 by 2 so that is 3 rows and 2 columns so this u can be order of m by n sorry m by em so the obtained u value should be in the order of m by m then this particular v value it should be order of what n by n n by n and then this particular sigma is order of this particular matrix that is 3 by 2 okay so this is what the order of the resultant matrix then this particular u can be obtained as so uh, this particular u can be obtained by computing eigen vectors of this particular matrix that is a into a transpose so first of all we have to compute this a into a transpose and then for this we have to compute the eigen values then we have to compute the eigen vectors so after finding the eigen vectors we have to optimize optimize that uh, values so then only this particular u value would be obtained so here we are going to compute the eigen values and then with this eigen values we have to compute the eigen vectors so then this particular v transpose would be obtained by multiplying a transpose into a so here also we have to compute this particular uh, uh, matrix eigen values as well as the eigen vectors okay so here also we have to compute the eigen values in the same way we have to compute the eigen vectors then obtained eigen vectors should be optimized or normalized okay normalized so this also it should be normalized so this is what uh, the process so when we come to the sigma it is uh, it is of the order of 3 by 2 so this would be um, here we are obtaining the eigen values right while uh, we are finding the but this particular v value we will obtain the eigen values so that eigen values we are going to form this diagonal matrix okay so sigma is the diagonal matrix diagonal matrix so this is what the complete overview of this singular value decomposition so after finding this this particular u value sigma value and v transpose value we have to compute the product okay so we have to compute this particular product by the res uh, for this the result would be a then only the, the decomposed value of this particular matrix a would be correct okay so i'll explain you again 
so singular value decomposition is the process of decomposition of a matrix into this form u sigma and v transpose so v transpose would be obtained uh, so the re result of this v transpose would be n by n okay that is uh, uh, let us assume this uh, order of this particular matrix is uh, 3 by 2 so this uh, v should be in n by n order and this can be computed by you by multiplying a transpose into a so for this we have to obtain the eigenvalues so with the help of these eigenvalues you have to compute these eigenvectors and then you have to normalize those eigenvectors okay so this is what the process of finding of v transpose in the same way you can find this u value as uh, so the result of uh, this uh, particular u should be order of m by n m by m so and this can be computed as a into a transpose for this particular matrix also we have to compute the eigenvalues so based on uh, these eigenvalues we have to comp uh, compute uh, these uh, eigenvectors and then we have to normalize these then we have to find out uh, this sigma sigma is the diagonal matrix of uh, the here we are finding the eigenvectors right so these eigenvectors should be uh, arranged in the diagonal form of the matrix so then only this uh, particular sigma value would be obtained by the end of this process you have to check whether this particular uh, condition is satisfied or not so you have to multiply the resultant matrices then you will obtain a otherwise your solution would be wrong okay so this is what the singular value decomposition is hope you people are understood so we'll explain uh, the more examples regarding the sing uh, singular value decomposition in the further classes thank you Yeah, yeah.